the Daily Report. Now, human rights groups have slammed the government of its conduct and knowledge of the whereabouts of the scores of missing people since the Gen Z protests, which the government numbers at 132. The groups further criticizing the state for what they term as the inability to protect civilians during the protests amid condemnation of the human rights violations conducted by police officers during the protests. Samir Mohammed with the details. Then where are they? Because they can also, they know where they are. Three months after the series of protests with us in the country, a section of human rights organizations have strongly condemned human rights violations and atrocities committed by police officers against protesters. It's time that police brutality really has to come to an end. We continue to see the profiling of young people. We continue to see young people, um, including just yesterday, when uh, Morara was uh, arrested, a betrayalini, and we cannot continue with this level of intimidation. The lobby groups have questioned the government on its role in arbitrary arrests, abduction and missing persons, further slamming the government for its failure to protect the protesters during the Gen Z-led anti-finance bill protests. Most important is honestly to stop with all the arbitrary arrests, to stop disappearing people. Remember the government is responsible for the safety protection of each and every Kenyan. The groups have challenged figures presented by Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kidore Kindiki before the Parliamentary Security Committee on the number of the 132 missing persons. They further claim that the statement made by Kindiki is a clear indication that the government is aware of the whereabouts of the missing persons. Cabinet Secretary for Interior, he did mention last week that um, indeed there are hundreds, at least there's 130 something persons missing. Then where are they? Because they can also, they know where they are or what has happened to them. You know, they should have. The security system should be able to follow up and tell us where these are. They further protested against the Assembly and Demonstration Bill 2024, sponsored by Mbere North Member of Parliament Geoffrey Ruku, which outlines the provision for how an assembly is conducted to safeguard public property and protect lives. The government will have supreme powers to regulate public demonstrations if a new bill is passed into law. According to the law, any individual who plans to hold a protest must notify authorities within a period of three to 14 days prior. Current bill in uh, you know that that has been proposed in parliament uh, the right to assembly and demonstration we want to state categorically that uh, this bill should not see the light of day i think samira mohammed for tv 47